through it and then right. get to. And that way you'll have full breath and everything. Right. The deed is great and the fine heart is pure. You didn't have anything bad. <laughs> The actors who perform are in a curious uh, little bubble. We're in an isolation group. We only see it from uh, a little, uh, our own peculiar little angle. In fact, in the whole course of this project, I'll never even lay eyes on Eddie Murphy or Mike or Cameron. We have dialogues together and we end up in very intimate contact with each other. At least our voices do in the film. <gasps> what kind of night are you? As producers and by working closely on For instance, we're partnering with the school system to bring counselors into schools and make services easier for families to access. We have helped expand behavioral health supports. Everything starts in editorial, so Sim gets the boards and puts them together and gives them the pace and the tone and the sound effects. Then it goes to production. Ogres are like onions. They stay? No. Layout is his first step to put the film's process into three dimensions. So what I do is work with the directors and my layout crew and we start blocking out in 3D very simple characters and simple sets. Animating means putting in all the details and actually maybe a start working on the facial animation and then overlapping action follow through and also uh, all the details make sure the weight is at the right place. I was forbidden from meeting the animators actually. I was told that they're the mole people and that they never see the light of day. At the same time other departments are working on subtle lighting, complicated visual effects and texturing of the images. All this effort was directed towards creating the unique balance of realism and fantasy that characterizes Shrek's remarkable world. We wanted to take this fairy tale world, bring it to life and and have it feel very realistic without it being photorealistic. So it's a stylized realism. You just can't believe what you're watching. It's completely amazing universe full of these storybook colors and but everything has weight to it and everything's three-dimensional and it's really exciting. I think that there is a look to the film that hasn't been seen before. There's a believability there. The great thing's about storybook character three-dimensional. They've done a really great job. Okay, you two, head for the exit. I'll take care of the dragon. <laughs> Water, fire, mud. These are like the most difficult elements to bring to life uh, in an animated movie, to actually create them and make them believable and plausible. Stuff that we see all the time and obviously take for granted, but in CG is a whole nother story. And to make a movie. And don't look down. Shit, I'm looking down. To do the lava, we uh, created new spurts that would look interesting and then on the, the surface of the lava is what we call a height field um, which is basically a grid that um, you make go up and down in certain places and that gives you uh, a fluid like looking surface and then we um, brought it into some programs that we have in order to make the texture on the top feel like it's swirling around my favorite moment in the movie is um is the moment where Shrek and Donkey save Fiona from the castle and they're being chased by the dragon. <laughs> ah, princess! It talks! Yeah, it's getting them to shut up, that's the trick! The animation is amazing. You see them being chased by this big ball of fire. And every turn in this movie is amazing because there's a new visual effect that just blows your mind. The fire um, on Shrek is, for the most part, um, CG. Um, in this sequence, the fire is its almost a character itself as far as needing to you know, move through the scene and interact with the characters. Basically, we started off with um, just a very simple ball. And we just animated the ball at the camera to get the timing right. And they started building their effects on top of that timing. So we would then, um, we'd have a simplified bunch of triangles just fly out at you. And then it would get slightly more blobby, more detailed. And then finally, you see in lighting, you see an amazing effect coming out at you straight at your face. <laughs> Vat to deal with on Shrek. Um, Vat was not, not an easy task. Um, jiggling and, and sort of giving him weight and substance. Uh, we had clothing to deal with. Um, 
you know, it's, it hasn't been dealt with very often, and certainly not to the extent that we've dealt with clothing on this film. Um, hair, you know, very sort of real-looking hair that behaved normally and yet could be acted with and, and interacted with. The environments, we wanted to bring them to life and make them much richer and lusher and real. The dust in the air, the, the, the leaves moving in the trees, the wind in the grass, the flames, the... Uh, the, the very precise lighting, it's a very intricate process and it requires all the talent of everybody. The thing that's fun of working on this is not the technology or the techniques that we use, but you know, it's the actual film itself and entertaining the audience and making them laugh is the important thing. From storyboards to voiceover and animation to final record, the process of creating the magical storybook world of Shrek involved a lot of time, a lot of talent, and a little bit of magic of its own. You might have seen a house fly, maybe even a super fly, but I bet you ain't never seen a donkey fly. <laughs> uh, uh, it's such a complex process. Everything is so intricate, effects-wise, lighting-wise, modeling-wise, that it's a mix of an incredible team of talent. The movie, as you see it, is far beyond our wildest dreams. Shrek is such a brilliant character. It was a wonderful idea to take that and expand it into something which can be a great classic. I think the story itself just has a great message of saying how important it is to sort of not judge people for the way that they look, but to see people for who they truly are. Oh, that's beautiful. I didn't know you wrote poetry. That's a sweet little message, you know, that you should love yourself for who you are, and you know, beauty is on the inside, you know, not on the outside. If you're beautiful on the inside, you know, that makes the exterior beautiful. The thing that I feel about the movie more than anything else is how funny it is. You know, it's just, it's full of discoveries and full of know, wonderful character moments. It's got a tremendous heart to it. You know, beautiful acting and comedic moments out of this extraordinary cast. Wow. Only a true friend would be that truly act. The writers have done a great job of creating an amazingly fresh new world with really funny bad guys and really cool sidekicks.